Okay, so now I want to show you the latest version of my web application featuring Crew AI and three agents. So, a short introduction, what you see here. So, let us start with the um, agents. So, we have a researcher agent. Here, I'm able to select different open source language models which are hosted locally on my server here. So you see here in the left window the GPU and the usage of the GPU. And when Olama is loading the large language model, then the usage should go up. So here we are able to set the temperature for that agent as well. So I, I let it, let it um, at that at um, zero, so it, it's um, more um, coherent and um, what it um, is doing. So from the setup, the agent has a rule. So as you see in your research analyst, a goal and a backstory. And the two other agents are set up the same way. So for the researcher and for the investor, business angel, Open Hermes works very well. So the temperature stays the same here at zero and the business angle as well as a role, a goal and a backstory. And the, the author is a little bit different from the setup. So we are using Mistral. It's writing nice articles. We will move that up maybe to 0.3. So then it's a little bit more creative in writing a nice um, article and yeah the author has also a rule a goal write nice um, articles and a backstory so each agent needs a task so here we have the task for the researcher and um, it's all about startups in the finance industry and so on and think of that as a template so i don't want to rewrite the, the tasks always by my own. So I created a nice one for the researcher, for the author as well. He has to write an article with 1,600 words and so on. And for the investor, we have also a nice task, which is more in the direction of an um, investor analysis um, report. So when we go back to the um, main, main window so here you see the text area i will paste in a, a new task description here how does generative ai and stable diffusion impact the movie industry in hollywood so with open hermes i'm rewriting that task following the task templates so at the end i get three new tasks one for the researcher one for the business angle one for the author hopefully mentioning generative ai and hollywood and movie industry so we maybe we we choose here the gamma 2 billions model so that worked quite well and we we, we do not change the um, temperature here because we want that it's more, more coherent what the um, task templates are saying. So by pressing the chart generation button, the three tasks are rewritten. Here on the left side, we see that um, Olama has loaded um, the large language model and now it is working. And here we see here we see the um, rewritten task. So yeah, it's about stable diffusion movie industry. It has to do some, some um, um, research and analysis that looks good. The task for the um, investor, analyze impact on uh, Hollywood key explore. How can use uh, movie effects? Well, looks, looks, maybe looks, looks as well. Um, okay. And here we look at the author. So right, article like thousand six hundred. So that's also nice, and it's also giving him some some um, um, structure and um, what he has to cover. So here we see what the agents are are doing in this um, text box because. Um, I'm not always on, 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 on that uh, main machine. So when I'm running the web app over my, my um, internet, then I do not have all those um, 
and windows available but so i see um, what the the agents are doing how they are interacting how the um, internet research works and so on so that that gives me some insights that it is um, really doing something and it helps me to to understand um, how the agents are um, working so now i would say yeah here here we have the um, final results so the title revolution in hollywood the immersion uh, movies introduction uh, okay generate visual effects okay looks good magic behind the scenes nice relationship well uh, conclusion uh, in evacuation that affects I think I think it's 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 a nice nice structure and I would be really happy if those links are useful so let us open that one going to wired um, well that was not working so I think that won't work either so check that out TechCrunch accept all page not and okay so yeah that's that's a little bit a little bit disappointing but um, at, at the end we have a nice nice um, article here and it has has written written some some nice um, um, conclusions and chapters um, how how the movie industry may may change um, or may be affected by generative AI so I would say it's a good good starting point if you have to to um, write an article about that and yeah hope hope you you like that um, movie and yeah I will I will upload the um, code on my on my GitHub account for that web app and then you can play around with it and hopefully give some some feedback or further um, developments on that. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it, subscribe my, my channel or press the um, thumbs up button and yeah, ask questions. I will comment them as well. So thank you very much.